market prospects, delivering timely information and education to prairie farmers for over 30 years. Market Prospects is brought to you by the University of Saskatchewan's Department of Agricultural and Resource Economics and these sponsors. Log on to marketprospects.usask.ca to view past programs and for information on upcoming programs. This week on our Market Prospects interview, we take a close look at the Western Canadian grain export capacity. Joining us from Edmonton is Dr. Mohamed Torchizi, Assistant Professor, Department of Resource Economics and Environmental Sociology at the University of Alberta. Welcome to Farmgate. Thank you. Pleasure to be with you guys. Well, Dr. Richard Gray and you authored a new study titled An Economic Analysis of Western Canadian Grain Export Capacity. What was the impetus for this study? Well, as you know, in 2013-14 crop year, we had a grain transportation crisis. Record grain production combined with an unexpectedly cold and early winter resulted in a slow movement of grain. As the grain companies lowered their cash bids to ration the available capacity, the spread between Vancouver free on board prices and country elevator cash bids which is what we refer to as export basis, increased significantly. Uh, it was estimated that the increase in export basis levels reduced farmers' income by over $5 billion. Uh, in our study, we were trying to find out if this transportation crisis is something that uh, is likely to be repeated again. And if so, uh, how much capacity, how much total grain export capacity we need in order to avoid uh, such, a grain, uh, such a crisis in the future. So you did conclude on the export capacity side of things. What would we see in the future in relation to that then? Well, uh, we estimated if we do not improve grain export capacity, uh, we can expect over $10 billion of uh, expected loss for farmers uh, for the 2016 to 2025 of, uh, period. Now, if we could improve the total rail port and coordination grain export capacity by 10 million metric tons, uh, there will be over $9 billion of cost-saving benefits for farmers over the same period, 2016 to 2025. So what does the study recommend as far as regulation is concerned then? So in terms of regulations, uh, first and foremost, I think uh, removing the maximum revenue entitlement or MRE is not the solution. The MRE, allows the railways to increase their revenue by moving more grain. Now, if we remove the MRE, uh, given the market structure and given the, f uh, the cost structure of the railways, they will have a perverse incentive to increase their revenue by moving less grain and charging more for their services. Nevertheless, we could refine the current MRE to give railways additional incentives uh, to improve their capacity. For example, uh, they could be given additional incentives to move the crop earlier in the crop year or in the winter. Second, uh, increasing competition, I think that is a viable solution, uh, but that could only happen in a world of open running rights as, as recommended by the producer groups. Uh, I'm unsure as to whether or not the railways will accept this. Uh, third, uh, a costing review, I think, is, uh, is, uh, is another important and necessary step towards a more transparent and therefore more efficient market. What improvements and expansions are needed at Canada's ocean ports to accommodate increased prairie grain production over time? Right. Uh, so I think at the port we need uh, two things. We need more storage, we need better coordination. The good news is uh, many of the grain companies have indicated they are planning to improve their storage and therefore their export capacity. Richardson Pioneers uh, have already increased their export capacity by over 2 million metric tons a year. 
In terms of coordination, I think increasing coordination among marketers uh, is important. For example, an active cash market that would allow marketers to swap grain stocks would reduce the number of uh, anchor poles to load a boat and therefore speed up the movement of grain, prevent backlogs, and reduce the marriage costs. Well, great information, Dr. Chorchizi. Thank you very much uh, for taking time to come on Farmgate. Thank you. Okay, we'll take a break again. We're back in two minutes. Please stay with us.